It's hard to imagine that a business that's been around for 98 years would have many secrets. But Eastern Bakery in San Francisco's Chinatown has its share. There's the secret recipe behind its sought-after coffee crunch cake, or its other secret recipe for its famous mooncakes. You want some? But there's another secret that, well, is not so secret if you listen to the owner greet visitors. Yeah, look at this, see what That's right. Orlando Kwan, the owner of the oldest Chinatown bakery, speaks perfect Spanish. And there's a reason for that. Where are you from? Mexico. Mexico. Mm -hmm. Peru. Peru? Peru? Yeah. Kwan was born in Peru. He emigrated to the U.S. with his family when he was in his 20s. How are you? No. Besides Spanish, he speaks English and Chinese. I speak two Chinese dialects. Both are Cantonese. It's an immigrant success story, one that's added to the mystique of Chinatown. His family opened Golden Gate Bakery. That's the bakery that makes such delicious egg custard tarts that has such erratic hours of operation that fans even created a Facebook page just to let the public know when it's open. Eastern Bakery also has its own cult following. After a 1996 speech in San Francisco, then-President Bill Clinton popped in for a mooncake. Looking for the mooncake, the lotus one, and we have to cut it for him to eat it, right? Good to have a president, the most powerful man in the, in the whole world, and come to visit you and eating your best of the best lotus mooncake. The mooncakes are what make Eastern Bakery stand out. They are traditionally eaten during the mid-autumn festival, kind of a Chinese Thanksgiving typically held in September. Even you go to China, you don't like get this quality mooncake. We grind the lotus seed. We have to cook the filling for eight hours, and we have a secret recipe. The baker, he has all the recipe. When he start mixing the filling, he kicks everybody out. He only has one assistant with him because he doesn't want anyone to know the process. In the 1960s, David Lay worked at Eastern Bakery for the original owner. He remembers lines of workers making mooncakes for the festival. Oh, they're making thousands because we had about 30 people around a big table. One part of the production is to make a ball out of the filling. Then the next department, they make the dough and you put the filling in, then you stuff the whole thing into the mold, bang, bang, and it comes out round with the printing on top. Mooncakes are one attraction. Another is the coffee crunch cake. For customers like Winston Fong, it's full of flavor and nostalgia. My father and I, we would come out here and have the coffee crunch cake. The sugar, the crunch. And the coffee taste. Those are kind of nice memories. It's a secret recipe. It's crispy and it's very good. That's candy on the outside and a high quality cake. Quan has owned Eastern Bakery for 37 years. He has not reopened the inside of the store since the pandemic began. Hello, hi. Instead, he greets customers from a small table at the door. After 98 years, he doesn't want to think about what will happen to the bakery when he calls it quits. It's about 100 years. What do you expect? Nothing will live forever, right? It's okay. I try my best to stay here as long as possible. Here is next to his table of goodies. Singing and chatting with customers. Not super rich. The main thing is you are happy with your life. Hi, how are you? 